Hello and thank you for joining us. My name is Robert Corsetti. I work with Berkeley Nucleonics. I just want to spend a brief moment and discuss the models 575 and model 505, our digital delay and pulse generators. Two most common instruments purchased from Berkeley Nucleonics. We have a long history in the nuclear industry. We've been around since 1963 and we've been working with pulse generators since the inception of the company, again in 1963. Models 575 and 505 were the most recent releases of the 500 series. The 575 being the instrument with a bit more fine specification sheet, and the 505 is the, the everyday workhorse pulse generator, which addresses many applications and has a very cost effective price structure to allow many units to be deployed within a single department or a widely deployed array of instruments across a campus. And I'll briefly talk about the model 575 first. I just want to discuss um, the instrument in three, three phases, one of which is the front panel. And the next is the feature sets that are provided with the 575. And to give you a brief introduction to the features, the 575 incorporates many new features not present on other Berkeley Nucleonics products, as well as other competitors' products. The 575 offers quite a few state-of-the-art features that aren't present on other boxes and many of our customers like the refined features when compared to our competitors. Uh, again, the, the third final, final component of the 575 is going to be the back panel and the communication protocols and connections that are available. So just to start off with the 575 front panel, as you can see here, I believe this is a 575-4C which is the most common unit. Uh, 4C refers to the channel configuration and Berkeley Nucleonics does offer multiple different types of channel configurations starting at two channels and the two channels refers to outputs. So every box has a input capability of two inputs, one gate and one trigger and that can be also adjusted to either include two gates or two triggers or one gate and one trigger which is standard. So the input again, two channels is the minimum amount of channels that the 575 can use and it goes stepwise up to four channels and then it jumps again to eight channels doubling the output capability. Also with the 575 front panel you will see the, the keypad which is again uh, tactile, the rubberized buttons um, compared to a flat silk screen button. The channels A, B, C, and D, which refer to each of these BNC inputs, are also these tactile rubberized buttons to help the user figure out when the 575 channels are either enabled or disabled. And the, the enabled indicator is a, a bright green light which will actually illuminate the letter A, B, C, or D depending on which channel is enabled. On previous models, we didn't have that feature. We talked to customers and did a little research and development. We actually found out that this was a common mistake people would make when troubleshooting or trying to set up the 575 for any one particular experiment. Sometimes when the box was either moved from laboratory to laboratory, these features were or these uh, channels were either disabled or, ena or enabled by accident. So uh, indicating to the user on the front, front panel here uh, gives you a quick and easy way to figure out if the channels are either on or off, which is, the most, again, the most common mistake when not receiving pulses out. Um, to move along here on the front panel, you'll also see a, a wheel here, and this can help you set various widths and delays and again those those widths and delays are adjustable. All the specifications can be found on the data sheet. We start very low, um, the low nanoseconds with width, I think it's 10 nanoseconds is the minimum pulse width and that grows up to um, decade by decade until you reach actual seconds which is an eternity in nuclear research and development terms. Um, delay is the same thing, starts out at a quarter zero seconds and then moves up to the decade by decade until you reach the seconds. 
And moving along with um, the rest of the features, of course, the run stop button will initialize, begin any of the pulse trains, and the top button, again, that's the power on off button. A quick little note on the run stop key when using a remote or external trigger, the run stop button will actually arm the box and prepare it for an incoming signal. Uh, another step that people um, commonly overlook with the 575, which is a great added feature on, on this product. The 575, or 505, excuse me, has similar features, BNC connectors, again an eight channel, eight channel output box, but this has one input, and the buttons are a bit different on this particular unit when compared to the 575. Front panel is pretty simple, easy to use. All of the features on model 575 and 505 can be accessed from the front panel, which is again an, a feature that not all of our competitors have. Many of our competitors need to log into a PC or some sort of external computer to access these more or less hidden features. We did away with that type of mindset with each of these units and provide full configurability from the front panel. So beginning with the feature sets, model 575 incorporates quite a few features that are not common to either the pulse generator market or the delay generator market which have two different objectives. Each market or each customer has a different goal or mindset when purchasing models 575 or models 505. Well, what the 575 does is it allows the user to do quite a few different things uh, when either creating, adjusting, manipulating, or combining pulse trains. The 575 uh, does one thing right off the bat which is allowing width and delay to be controlled on a channel by channel basis. So if you have four channels each channel can output a, a pulse width and delay which is adjustable on the front panel or by PC which often doubles the capability when compared to current equipment. A lot of the, the current or old guard pulse generators have width and delay on, on separate channels. In, in, in this case the BNC 575 and the model 505 have width and delay settings that can be adjusted on a on a single channel so again that increases your your output capability by a factor of two. It also decreases the, the cost per channel when inquiring on price requests. So building on the adjustable width and delay per channel the each box can have a, a different output or different voltage output on, on, on these particular channels if the user wants to use a standard TTL pulse, of course that's available on both units. The ability to adjust the amplitude is available on the model 575. So if you don't want a TTL pulse, you may want something higher around the 10 volt range. You can adjust that channel to have 10 volts out on channel A. Channel B can have TTL. Channel C can actually use a 35 volt output option and if so, if that output's desired. So you can see the, the pulse trains are getting to be quite diverse in a matter of seconds where we haven't even discussed the rest of the features yet and the 575 is already getting a, a bit more complicated. Um, again, building on the adjustable amplitudes, you can also adjust the amount of pulses. If you like to do a, a pulse train that has a duty cycle, burst, continuous mode or single shot, all those features can be accessed on a channel by channel basis and be adjusted again with various different widths, delays, and amplitude on a channel by channel basis. So now that we've addressed the, the single shot, which is a, a single pulse upon initiating the pulse generator, we've also discussed a burst, which is a, a group of pulses that's selected by the user on a channel by channel basis. You've also alluded to the fact you can run the box in a continuous mode which will run for any extended period of time overnight for weeks on, on end without stopping. The 575 also allows the user to configure the duty cycle 
with n number of pulses on and m number of pulses off. So you can select the ratio of, of on to off pulses in case you're doing a detector test, maybe a, a simulated nuclear experiment where you want to um, simulate some sort of randomness or maybe you like to uh, test various different circuits. The, the 575 duty cycle allows the user to configure the percentage of N pulses on and M pulses off, which, which is a new feature the 575 has compared to, again, other equipment deployed at laboratories that 100% adjustability on the front panel as well as through PC is another feature the, the 575 adds when compared to other, other pulse generators offered by Berkeley Nucleonics. So if we spin this unit around, you'll be able to see the back panel. And the back panel illustrates a few different things, one of which is the, the CE marking that the 575 has. And on the back panel of the 505, you can also see the CE marking. The, the power input is to the 575 and 505 supports international customers uh, and 110 or 220 volts. Um, the power requirements are always changing across the world and with globalization, uh, Berkeley Nucleonics has made adjustments to incorporate the various different configurations in each laboratory across the world. So we do a pretty good job when trying to look ahead to where people might want to deploy one of the 575s. And Again, on the, on the back panel, you know, we'll see RS-232 and USB as standard communication protocol. On the 575, you can purchase an option, which is Ethernet and GPIB communication capability as well. As we stated before, you can purchase either high voltage outputs, and along with the high voltage, we can also add a Ethernet and GPIB communication package, which allows the 575 to be networked or hooked up with a LabVIEW driver, which we provide at no cost, uh, as, as standard when we ship each box, either the 505 and the 575. Both instruments have the LabVIEW driver, which will work with either 575, 505, 565, or the 505. So the entire 500 series of pulse generators is covered by one LabVIEW driver. And that's nice because Many of the laboratories might have an older BNC box they purchased a year or so ago, and now with the new driver, we can incorporate all these different equipment types, whether new or old, or, or future equipment. All the, all the future requirements will be addressed with one driver, so you won't have to rewrite, rewrite code, you won't have to um, purchase new external software. If you don't have LabVIEW or don't want to make the investment in LabVIEW, Berkeley Nucleonics provides a hyperterminal connection, again with either RS-232 or USB as standard and the optional Ethernet and GPIB. We provide command code in every user's manual shipped with the 575 or 505 that allows um, complete control from a PC without, any, without buying any extra software. So if you have a rack of equipment in one room and then a clean room next door, uh, you can do all the communication from a safe place and not have to um, dress up and dress down every time you want to change uh, with and delay settings. So that's also quite nice. We have a general overview of both products, the, the, the timing, the gating, the triggering, and general synchronization is, is the, the bulk of the requests that come into Berkeley Nucleonic. To briefly address the applications of the 575 and the 505, it ranges quite a bit. The, the general use or the, um, the ease of incorporation to any application is really the, one of the, the founding f features of, of each model. They're so easily integrated into any experiment that either requires timing, gating, synchronization, um, multiplexing of, of various outputs onto a single input, or, or just general applications like PIV or diagnostic testing or airbag testing or just a wide range of the applications that use models 575 or 505 and with the growing number of research reactors and 
on many different types of scientific experiments, um, these two boxes will have a home worldwide and um, are supported by many of the third-party software. Thank you for your time and we appreciate that you logged on to our website to learn a little bit more about the models 575 and 505 and please feel free to contact Berkeley Nucleonics at 800-234-7858 and look forward to speaking to you soon.